hello everyone welcome back so in this session today we are going to see one of the browser command that is uh, get window rect or set window rect so it is one of the method in browser in web driver io which will give you to kind of fetch the position and the size of your browser window and also you can change or update the position and also the size of your window now the main question comes what is the usage of this See, normally what happens in different screens, uh, in different laptops or desktop uh, browser, your screen sizes, your browser window also varies. And because of the browser responsiveness of your browser applications, sometimes the UI or the layout can change as well. In the sense, think about there is a like a menu options are there or a table grid is there so in that case when your browser window is very small or like let's say that your resolution is very small of your monitor or your system then it would react in a different way if your resolution is good or on a bigger screens the browser will be a different or if sometimes the browser window might be defaulted to a different screen sizes as well Okay, so for that it is very essential to understand your browser position and also the size when you are running your test cases. Okay, so let's see how we can handle or how we can fetch the details by using the WebDriver IO browser commands. So if you see the documentation of the WebDriver IO, you see that there is a method called as get window rect, so which gives you different key value pairs so one of that uh, so there are four different uh, what do you call key value pairs that you are getting when you say browser dot get window rect one is the x that is the x coordinate the y coordinate of your application and also the width and height of your browser see it's the application is nothing but your browser window right so this is the way you can fetch these four details and you can play with that we'll see how we can really use it in our code the same thing how we are fetching that the same thing we can change these details as well by using the set window rect now in this case you can see that the set window rect normally accepts four different parameters one is the x coordinate y coordinate width and height of that okay so by using these four options you can change the position and the size of your so as soon as your browser is launched you can use the set window rect to make sure that whatever you are testing with respect to the size of your browser window you can verify those options the same thing so th these are here actually the position and size both you can change it right there is a wdio official uh, what you call method is available you can see that is the set window size where you can only change the width and height let's say that your position is fine but then you want to change the width and height you don't really want to use the set window rect instead of that you can use the set window size which only accepts two different parameters so we'll see the difference between these two different uh, what do you call methods into the browser okay so for this let me do one thing i'll create a new file okay or maybe i can even copy paste from any one of these let's say that i want to copy this one and paste it here and do necessary changes okay so think about i have this browser window see the rest of everything remains same but i'll just do one thing actually pretty much i will comment everything because this is not our scope of the today's session so i'm just keeping as it is only let's open this window for three seconds as ideal after that we will be doing different things so the first thing now let's try to use that particular method actually so i will say await browser dot i'll say get window get window rect okay this method i will be using and which returns couple of things right but first let's execute this or let's print this and try to understand actually what are the different things it is printing actually as per the documentation we want to verify it so the same thing let me put it into my wd oops, sorry control c 
put it into the WDIO here. Okay. And now let's run this particular test case. Just I'm getting the default browser window size and position. Okay. It just opened as a default position. I'm not going to change anything. So if you see this result, you can see that this result. So it is giving the default browser window, which just now launched by this test. The height is 1011 pixel. The width is 1200 pixel. The X coordinate is 1558 and Y coordinate is 47. Height and width, anyway, we understand height is nothing but this particular height from top to bottom actually of that browser window. Width is from left hand side starting point to right hand side ending point. What about this X and Y coordinate? Everybody kind of misunderstand this concept of X and Y coordinate. Some feel like this is actually basically starting from like bottom, like from your left uh, corner of your screen, left bottom corner or the right uh, or the left top corner of your screen actually. So normally what happens in real time, the coordinate starts from your top left corner actually. So top left corner, it starts your coordinate. Let me show you that. So if you go to this link, automate boring stuff here, if you go to the chapter 18, you see that it has a nice uh, pictorial representation. So when you really go to a screen, you see that the zero zero coordinate starts from the top left corner here. Okay. And then when you come down, actually the Y axis increases actually. Here in this Y is nothing but your second position here. You can see it was zero. Now it is increasing to one zero seven nine. The same thing. If you go on the horizontally, your X axis will be increasing. So in this case, you see that this is my zeroth position and this is my 1919 position, which is my right top corner of that. So that is how your screen resolution is calculated. At this moment, I'm using two monitors. That is why if you see the X coordinate is bit increased, actually here it is showing as 1558 and Y coordinate is 47 means from top to here it is. So I will show you a pictorial representation. It is very important to understand what it is really means actually the X and Y coordinate. So let me do one thing. So think about this is your browser screen, which is launching and this is your monitor. Let's say that this is your monitor. So in this case, this is actually zeroth position here. So X, I would say that X equal to zero and Y equal to zero. Okay. Now let's say that, see, I'm, I said that I'm using two different monitors, right? Now think about this is my second monitor here. So I'm just taking like this. So this is my first monitor. This is my second monitor. The browser is displayed here. Now this X and zero and when it is coming here, right? Let me just put this as like this. So think about the X equal to it is somewhat actually 1500. Let's say that 1500 because it passed right from here to here it is passing. So this position X is like that, but here Y equal to zero. Y still stays as zeroth position only because Y is always when Y increases, when it goes towards the bottom of that. And that is what we are seeing here, right? When it is going down, the Y axis increases. That's why Y is still zero only. But when you come to this position, now let's see what is this position. This is my second monitor's initial position, right? So here it would be actually like this. Somewhat, let's say that the X is 1580 and then Y equal to, let's say that to 50. Because from here to here, the Y is like this actually. So it is, oops, sorry. So while it is coming the Y position to bottom, it become 50. But this X axis is basically this one actually. So X axis is from this corner to this particular edge of the, the top left actually here. Like that it is always calculated. See, don't think, think about in your case, if you are using a single screen monitor. 
so your x and y axis will be here it is starting for me the output is showing as 15 58 y equal to 47 right maybe for you it will be coming 50 50 50 will be x x axis y will be 50 also in that case what will happen your screen will be somewhat here actually so x axis and this is y axis coming down like that the x and y axis will be calculated now let's say that i want to bit move it towards right hand side the position so for this what can i do and see again another thing you can even print it individually also i'll show you that so see whatever you are getting this browser dot window rect right it is an object actually so can i put this one actually like this position equal to i'll just call this one actually here okay i'm assigning that after that what i will do i'll print individually let's say that i'm printing position dot let's say that x axis i'm going to print actually that one because it is you can see these are actually key value pairs so i can print like this and i will put some space here let's say some pipe symbol and i will say position dot y and let's see if it is really returning me the correct option or not so i'm just keeping it as a default position only i'm not dragging it to the middle of my screen and let's see if it evaluated you can see the x position it came as 1558 y position it returned 47 so like that from this browser dot get rect you can get the individual key values also see this is very important when you want to understand you want to verify because every browser every application browser will have its default position let's say that is a requirement for you to test it that your x axis should always start with 1558 it is your requirement so you can put an expect statement with this x coordinate only so it's not just you get this collection and you see it manually you have to verify individual components of that particular key value collection right so that is where actually this individual fetching data will help you there fine so that is how you can even get the position dot width position dot height now let's come back to my what do you call this particular uh, screenshot here or this drawing let's say that i want to move it bit right hand side because at this moment the browser which launched as a default you might not see the entire browser here right so what i am going to do I'm going to reduce this one, this size a bit. And also I want to put it into the middle of my screen actually at this moment. So what am I going to do? You see that my left hand side is cropping when you, when I ran my test case, right? You can just go back a little bit and you can see into this video while I was running a couple of minutes back, my left hand side was cropping actually. So let's say I want to put it into the middle of the screen. I will just let's say that this corner I want to move it to here it means that my x axis going to increase actually again let's go and see that x axis increases that is how I will be doing now instead of 1580 let's say that I want to make it as 2000 now how do I change these positions for this actually what I'm going to do I'll just make some weight here or let's say that I will do like this browser dot and I will say that set window rect actually here set window rect you can see set window rect now in this it is accepting four different parameters one is the x-axis as I told I'll keep it as 2000 let's say that I want to put bring it a bit down also because my top position was also cropping right when I was running so instead of 50 or 47 which it was giving let's say that I want to give somewhere around 210 or something so that I can see somewhere this position my browser top position and width and height let's say so at this moment what is the width and height height is 1011 and width is 1200 right let's say I want to reduce that size a bit let's say that the height I'm keeping it as 600 and is it height what is the fourth one the fourth is sorry width and then height so width I'm keeping it as let's say that 800 and height I'm keeping it as 600 
See, there is one trick actually. When you are getting this right, get window rect, the left to right actually parameters are different height, width, x, y. But when you are setting this, it is a different order actually. You can see first it is coming as x, then y, then width, then height. Keep it in mind while you are setting your window positions, else you will get a different response in your output. Okay, so what am I doing here? If I go to that particular drawing, I will be moving towards bit right, towards bit down, and also I'm reducing this browser window. And just to keep it, this is my browser window or the browser itself. This is my monitor two, and this is my monitor one, monitor one, like this. Just to avoid confusion, I'm just keeping it on record. And now let me run it and then I will do one thing. Okay, I'm logging, I'm keeping the browser here, then I'm getting the details, then I'm changing set and let's say that I will keep it some more time so that you can see that properly. So let me run this test. Okay, you can see the left and top is cropping. Now it came in towards middle and now it is giving the current position actually the set window rect which i called here you can see that 800 and 600 but before it was coming as 1000 to 1200 and that is what reduced the size also okay so this is one of the way but as i told the browser has its own method as a set window size see this get window rect and set window rect is the web driver protocol actually if you see here inside this web driver protocol it is coming web driver protocol you see the set window rect and get window rect but the browser itself has a set window size method you can see that it's dedicated to change the width and height so for an instance let's say after waiting for some time i'll make it as await browser dot set window size okay set window size you can see now it accepts two parameters your height okay first is width let's say i want to change that to 2000 that is my width and let's say that 800 is my height you see a little bit of change will come so first it will give you the default size and position after that i'm changing a bit then again i'm changing a bit which you are going to see that so let's just run it for the last time and see if the changes are reflecting or not. Now it should come to the middle and then it should change a bit. Okay, so it just happened a bit faster because I didn't give a browser pause, but I you can just keep a browser pause actually for around three to four seconds and then you can see this also got reflected. So like this actually you can really handle sometimes what you need to do. Let's say that there are certain uh, what you call menu options will be there. Let's say that I'll give you a kind of uh, a what do you call a quick demo actually here so think about now these are the options are there let's say that your browser window is somewhat like this some web applications what they will do whichever is coming into your viewport right they will keep it as it is the next options they will keep it as a more link actually once you click on that more link it will populate the new the bottom details actually this is actually more into the vertical, right? Let's say a menu bar is there. In menu bar, let's say for this particular browser window, whatever the width is there, you can see the entire list items, all the menu options you can see. For an instance, let's say that I'm going to this particular page here. So if you see the browser window is reduced actually, but when I increase, you can see all these options are visible. Now, if I reduce this, you can see it is going to a menu option. So that is how actually you can verify it. If your browser window is kind of this particular length, or this particular pixel, you shouldn't be seeing the menu options here. You should see this particular hamburger menu. But when you change the window size, then you should see this menu bar. This could be one of your, what do you call, the testing also verifications you can do. 
so keep this in mind the methods and then what is your x and y axis and what is the expected details that you're expecting from your browser actually okay so hope this session is helpful and if you have any questions do comment or reach out to me but stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel because we will be seeing some more interesting topics like this thank you for watching